get started you want to take the flat cord you're going to be working over and you can use any colour if your thread's going to cover the entire thing because it won't show up when you're finished. And next you want to take your board and then you can clip the top of your flat cord to the top of your board. And then you can take another clip and then clip the cord at the bottom. And next you want to take the thread that you're going to be using. And you want to match up both the ends. And once you've got the ends matched, you just want to run it through your fingers until you find the centre. And then pinching the centre in your fingers, you want to put it underneath the black cord and then just pull one side out. So it should be under the flat cord and coming out at both ends. And you want to keep your finger there until you've done your first knot so you hold it in place. And then you want to go over the flat cord at this side. And then take this side and go over this thread. And then you want to pull it through underneath the flat cord and out the other end. And then just holding it in place the whole time while you're tightening your knot. You just want to tighten like that. So that forms your first half of your first square knot. And then you want to go underneath here. And then take this one and go underneath here. And then over and pull through. And that completes your first square knot. And once you've done that, you can just push it up to the top. So you should have something that looks like this. So once you've done that you don't have to hold it in place anymore because it's knotted into place and you can just keep working your square knots in the same way. So once you've got it as long as you want it, just make sure everything's nice and tight. And then you can unclip your cord from the bottom of the board. And then you want to trim the excess. And you want to leave a little bit for adding your clasps or whatever you're going to use to fasten at the end. So once you've finished, you can add your fastenings. So for me, I'm just going to use crimp beads with a jump ring attached. So I want to take the bracelet. And then just slot the cord inside the crimp bead and just gently pinch the sides together. So once that's in place you can use a pair of pliers. And then you just want to press both sides of your crimp bead down. And once it's secure, just give a little bit of a press and then it should be firmly attached. And remember you want to put a clasp on one end. And then once that's done, you can fasten it like that.